Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Make a Code Monday. My name is Martin from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library. And today I have a very quick micro bit tutorial for you. This tutorial involves using the micro bits light sensors to build a really simple nightlight. So if that sounds interesting to you, then let's get started. So you're going to head over to makecode.com and then click on micro bit. And then once you're there, click on new project, give your project a name, and click create. So just a quick overview on the microbit's um, light sensing capabilities. The microbit doesn't actually have a dedicated separate um, light sensor on it. It actually, oddly enough, just uses the LEDs to sense the amount of light around the microbit. And to grab that input, we would we'd go under the input drawer and just grab this light level variable. So a quick way to kind of play around with this on the micro bit, I'm going to get rid of this on start block. And in this forever block, I'm going to go into the basic drawer and grab this show number block. And to populate this number here, we'll just go into input and grab that light level variable. And so this will just, in a loop forever, just show the light level um, in a number. So now that I go into the simulator and I've added that light level, I can actually simulate here the level of light and so zero would be total darkness. And if I drag it to 255, that would be like full brightness around the micro bit. So when we, when we go ahead and build our nightlight, we want it to come on in, of course, zero light. Um, but you might want to go around to different rooms and like detect the darkness and see, you know, at which point you would want to um, turn on your nightlight. So for me, I found it was about 10. Um, and I found that the, the because you're using the LEDs to detect the level of light, and the LEDs themselves put off a bit of light, so triggering it at just total darkness um, wasn't enough, I, because once the LEDs come on, they'll produce some light and then the night light will go off again. So you kind of can use this code to find that threshold. And so to make a simple night light, um, I'm just going to get rid of this show number. We just want to in this forever block, um, show light up all the LEDs. If our light level falls below that threshold that we'll use that previous code um, to figure out. So for me, that was a light level of 10, remember. So all I'm going to do is build out that if statement in this forever block. I'm going to go into the logic drawer, grab an if statement, and then where it says true here, we're going to um, create that condition. And if that condition's met, we'll turn on our LEDs. So to build out that condition, I'm going to go into the logic drawer, and then under comparison, grab this zero less than zero block and drag that into our condition. So what we want to, to build out here is if our light level is less than 10 or whatever you figure out, um, then we'll show our night light, which is just, you know, turning on the LEDs. So go into the input drawer, grab that light level variable, drag it into the first part of our comparison. And then in the second part, we're just going to type in 10. So if that's the case, it means it's pretty dark in our room where the micro bit is. So let's just show our nightlight, which could be as simple as um, under the basic drawer, just show LEDs. You can make any sort of image you want, or just for maximum brightness, 
just light up all the LEDs. So that's kind of simple, uh, but maybe you want to spice things up, make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, so we can make it a simple animation. Um, if we go under the basic drawer again, grab this show icon block, and then I'm going to duplicate this. So we'll leave the first one at the heart as the heart image, and the second one will be the smaller heart. And so now in our simulator, we just lower the light level below 10. And you can see it just toggles between those two images, and we get a beating heart animation as our nightlight. So just a quick tutorial today. I know it's not a, a, a lot of code, um, but I think this is a, a good introduction to the light sensing capabilities of the micro bit. And you can incorporate that into your projects. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And most importantly, I hope you have a great day. Thanks.